Hey everybody. I'm sure many of you guys have probably seen my video of where I took a brand new gateway computer and upgraded it from Windows 8 to Windows 7. That was fairly that was a fairly smooth procedure. But of course with um, Windows 8 computers, at least OEM machines that come with Windows 8 pre-installed, they love to set up the computers to where they have secure boot. In essence, what happens there is as soon as you start the computer, Windows 8 is already starting up. So you don't actually get a chance to see the system BIOS. It's not like it doesn't run in legacy mode. More or less, you don't see the post test. You don't see press F2 to enter setup or F12 to select the boot device. And um, to get into your BIOS, normally you would have to um, sign into Windows 8 or 8.1, go to PC settings, and you'll need to um, go into some advanced options. Um, you can to get the actual specifics on this. You can go watch my previous video of upgrading a Windows 8 computer to Windows 7. Um, but you have to go into the PC settings and actually um, tell it to restart into the system BIOS. That way, you can go into the BIOS and change the settings from UEFI to Legacy BIOS to boot off your Windows 7 DVD. Now. Um, this computer has a Windows 8 password, so I can't get into the system. Now, sometimes you can get the password off the owner, but um, it is 1051 at night. I'm going to get this done, so I'm not going to be giving the owner a phone call. And sometimes it's, it's just best not to know the user's password. It's kind of a privacy kind of thing. But um, let's say the computer has a Windows 8 password. Here's another way you can get... <laughs> around Windows 8 altogether. What you have to do is you have to take the um, let's say on a laptop you have to take this panel off or whatever it means to get the, get the hard drive out of the computer. Of course you have to unplug the laptop from a power source first before doing any of this and you'll just take the hard disk drive completely out. Now I've already done that because I went and backed up the user's files so, what we're doing now is reinstalling the battery. Now you're saying, hey, there's still stuff exposed here. But the thing is, we're on a um, very smooth surface, non-carpeted surface, so we should be fine. Done this many times before. And of course, these devices are sitting, are not actually up against the table. Go ahead and open the lid here. And we're going to start her up. And immediately press F2. Now sometimes you might be able to do this without taking a hard drive out, but I tried on this one and it booted into Windows 8 instead. So anyways, we're now in the system BIOS. You go over to the boot tab on this particular BIOS. Where it says boot mode UEFI. Hit enter, change it to legacy BIOS. Hit OK. And of course, stay on the boot tab. And um, actually, you have to restart to get these options here. You'd restart the computer and then press F2 to get back into the BIOS. And then, if you wanted to, you could um, set the Atapi CD ROM as the first boot device. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I think it may have changed everything back to default. Okay, no it didn't. Now of course you can see a hard drive zero is missing because there's no hard drive installed. But okay, anyways, we'll go ahead and exit out of this. Exit saving changes. Or you can just escape and not save. Alright, we gotta shut it down. It's trying to boot off the network. Now, carefully reach under here and flip the computer back over and of course always ground yourself out if there's excessive static in the room I always recommend touching a case or something something grounded when you're running a computer without the cover like this anyways we go ahead and take the battery back out it requires two hands to do so these newer computers or at least these newer gateways have a latch that sometimes takes a screwdriver to get into. Let's 
tripod decking up on me. Never buy a Dynex tripod from Best Buy. Just don't do it. Trying to get my camera to stay stable. Okay. Yeah, it's out of focus. Let me get the focus right for you guys. Take the screwdriver. Push in here. Pull this up. Okay, battery's out. Now we'll go ahead and reinsert the hard drive. So we're going to grab it. Here's a hard drive. Readjust the camera so you can see what I'm doing here. Now, of course, if I didn't mention earlier, laptops, different models are different in how, ter how in terms the hard drive gets installed. Sometimes they slide into the side of the computer, other times they have it like this, where you take a cover off to get access. On this one, the hard drive sets in here. It's a little tricky to get into the groove, but to get it in, it slides in place like this. Okay, it slid in. Now we'll just stick the cover back on. These things can be aggravating. I'm going to put the two screws back in. And just think, in a few minutes this computer will be getting a much better operating system than Windows 8. We will have a um, start menu back. We'll have Windows Media Center available. Now we'll go ahead and place the battery back in. Set it to a little groove. And now we're going to flip the computer back over. Be careful doing this with one hand. Plug her in to a power source and grab your Windows 7 DVD and go ahead and start with Windows 7 installation. So, anyways, if you um, need assistance with installing Windows 7, I have a tutorial on how to install Windows 7. And if you haven't already, feel free to go watch my um, previous video about upgrading a Windows 8 computer to Windows 7. It's on Qcooter channel. So anyways, um, end the question or comments. Feel free to ask and thanks for watching.